Is it a la oficina or en la oficina or is it both? In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between a and en. And to do it, I'm going to show you the most common situations when you are going to apply these prepositions. Later, I'm going to show you what verbs you can use with a and what verbs you can use with en. And to finish, we're going to do a quiz so you can practice your knowledge on this topic. So let's go with the first context. Context number one is, as you can see in this beautiful art, transportation. When we're talking about means of transportation, 95% of the time you are going to use en. That's pretty easy, right? For example, voy en el camión, I'm in the bus, or vámonos en carro, let's go by car, I don't want to walk. However, there are two situations where you cannot use en. This means of transportation is, number one, yourself, when you're walking, and you're going to say, vienes a pie, a pie is the way we say on foot in Spanish, vienes a pie, and the other means of transportation is going to be a horse, in case you have a horse and you use it to go to the office. For example, el recorrido es a caballo, the tour is on horseback, I want to give you a very cool tip so you can sound a little bit more natural when you're speaking in Spanish. In Latin America, we say a pata instead of a pie. However, a pata is a very informal expression, so make sure you use it in the right situation. So the second context where you're going to use a and n and that it causes a little bit of confusion is when talking about time. However, there are very specific situations when you are going to use a. For example, when talking about time, you are going to use a to express the time of an event or to express frequency. For example, hago ejercicio cuatro veces a la semana. I exercise four times a week. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Or, te hablo a las dos. I'm going to call you at two. Don't make me wait, please. However, if you want to use en to talk about time, which you can, you have to use parts of the days, months, or express future actions. For example, hago ejercicio en las mañanas. I exercise in the mornings. That's a big lie. Or, te hablo en 10 minutos. I'm going to call you in 10 minutes. Check the difference between expressing frequency, hago ejercicio cuatro veces a la semana, versus saying hago ejercicio en las mañanas. There is a big difference. So we have covered transportation and time. Hemos llegado a la pregunta del millón. Is it a la oficina or en la oficina? Let's go check. So when we talk about places, do we say a or en? A la oficina? Do you think that sounds right? A la oficina? Let's see. We do say a la oficina, let me put this over here, but we use it in a very specific situation. When talking about places, we use a only and only if we are expressing movement or direction. In human words, that means that I'm going from place A to place B. Boy, a la oficina, I'm going to the office, or yo te llevo al aeropuerto, I can take you to the airport. When you use singular nouns, like singular masculine nouns, sorry, as aeropuerto, make sure you're using the contraction al. I'm going to leave you this link over here so you can check what this contraction means and when you're going to use it. Since a expresses movement or direction is going to work with a very specific set of verbs. Can you tell which ones? Those are going to be verbs that also express movement or direction. For example, ir, to go, llevar, to take, llegar, to arrive, traer, to bring, venir, to come, and seguir, to follow. Many of my students say, Daniela, seguir doesn't express movement. What are you talking about? It does express movement. Suppose that I'm following my crush and I'm going to follow him from point A, where the following and the stalking starts, 
to point B, wherever he goes, ¿ok? Voy a seguir a, I'm not going to say who, but I'm going to follow someone. What about and do we ever say en la oficina or we don't do that? We do, but we also are going to do it in a very specific condition. For example, you learn that a expresses movement or direction. Déjame ir a este lado, right? Let me go to this side of the board. However, en is going to express location. There is a big difference between going to a place and being in a place. For example, estoy en la oficina, I'm at the office, or te espero en el aeropuerto, I'm going to wait for you at the airport. So if I was going to ask you which type of verbs do you think N is going to work with, what would you say? N is going to work with verbs that express Location, for example, estar, obviously, to be, vivir, to live, yo vivo en, esperar, to wait, like my example, seguir, to follow, I'm going to go back to that one, and poner, to put. When we talk about location, in this digital world, location can also be digital. So in the case of seguir, to follow, I use it with en, when I'm talking about following someone on a social media. For example, yo la sigo en Instagram. I follow her on Instagram, right? So now that you know the difference between A and N, I'm going to give you a quiz so you can put them in practice. I'm going to give you five sentences and you are going to complete them by choosing between A or N. Number one, vivo, blank, Guadalajara. Number two, quien esta? blank, la oficina. Number three, da vuelta, blank, la derecha. Number four, there are two blank spaces, so pay attention to the context and the verbs. Number four, B, blank, la biblioteca y espérame, blank, la entrada. Number five, there are two blank spaces here too. Llego, blank, la casa, blank, dos horas. Leave your answers, deja tus respuestas en los comentarios and I'm going to give you feedback if you need it. Before I leave, I want to remind you that you can watch this same lesson in my Spanish Immersion channel in case you want to practice your listening. I'm also going to leave you a link to a guide on Spanish prepositions. A and N are prepositions, but there are only two. In this guide, you can check the most common prepositions we need to speak Spanish. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please hit the like button and I hope to see you soon. Bye!